what's going on gamers? Welcome back to Moral Queen trying to beat the game eventually. Last episode, did a bunch of skilling and a bunch of TOA to get Nod's Mumtum's Fang. I went much too dry on that, annoyingly, but we got a ton of seeds, a little bit of money as a reward, so we're back to skilling a little bit, bumping up these supplies for future PVM. Okay, I've got a decent number of herbs in the bank right now. And I think I'm going to unlock the potion storage from Mastering Mixology. It shouldn't take too long, I don't think. And I'm, I, I think I have enough stuff in here to do it. Uh, but the content seems pretty easy. They've balanced things. Well, they've changed things now, which I knew they were going to do. So hopefully this should be a little easier to sesh out. People have figured out the strategies. There's a good plugin now. Hopefully the potion storage for the bank shouldn't take me too long. Now I gotta figure out where it is. Alderin? Never been here before, let's take a look. Where's Herblore? <laughs> let's do that run through. Oh, is this a cutscene? Cool. Okay, well, I thought these happened automatically, so I got them out into my inventory, but apparently you gotta do them. Inventory by inventory, clicking on these, so... I guess I'll be doing this for a little while. I have no idea how much a paste contributes to a point. I don't know if they're one to one. I'm hoping they are. Um, so I'm just going to make about what I would need to get the potion storage. And then uh, when we've run through those, we'll figure out how right I was. Okay, that should be more than enough paste. Uh, I don't think I need anything else in my inventory. For now, I'm just going to play the minigame as intended. Uh, do I not have the plugin on? Okay, I, I, I think I was trying to complicate it then, but it seems pretty easy. All right, and then you've got a potion and you stick it in the thing and... Hell yeah, okay. I'm going to be real. Doesn't seem like much of a exciting minigame, but it's easy enough. So let's hang out. Honestly, it's pretty chill. Well, maybe chill's the wrong word. It's easy to uh, get in a routine with. You know, you pick the right color on the <laughs> on the order board with the plugin, and uh, click things a few times. The order of operations is still a little weird to me. I keep forgetting to take it out of the mixing vessel before I try to do anything else. But honestly, I'm kind of enjoying it. Maybe I'll just do this the normal way for a little while longer than I thought. Although the efficient way is basically the normal way, just sort of extended out. So I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Look, see, I did the mixing vessel thing again. It's sort of like Giant's Foundry, but quicker and less punishing, which is nice. Okay, I'm going to try out the, uh, the good method now. I've reset my XP tracker. I've got the weird little notes on the screen, which I didn't know you could do until now. It's called on-screen notes, on-screen notes. Cool plugin, I guess. I just deleted the background and used the titles. Easy peasy. Uh, this method is from error occurred. I don't know if error got it from someone else, but basically we just do whatever the uh, row says in the inventory. So the first few are ALAs, AMs, AAs, etc., etc. It's a little awkward in the further downs because there's also a row of MML, MLLs on the right Makes it a little awkward if anyone's following along with this, but pretty simple to understand, I think. Okay, then once you've got all the potions ready, you just use each row individually on all the machines. It's pretty easy. Although the plugin isn't giving me the timing, which is annoying. I guess we do it on pump count. Let me do this one. Okay, now that those ones are done, you can just come over here and spam click a bunch, basically. If you just keep clicking, it'll do all the potions in the inventory that you haven't yet done on the other uh, stations. And in a second, we'll have a bunch of complete ones. This method's kind of like the uh, Arceus library methods, if you've ever done those, where you just get a whole bunch of books and only turn them in once your inventory's full up, so it's kind of nice. Do a little upfront work. Turn it in at the end for a bunch of XP, and this is actually a lot faster. Error got like 104,000 XP per hour, which is pretty good for points. So, hopefully now that we go over here, 
Just go and click a bunch. Oh, that is very satisfying. Okay, once you start to get low on the, not actually doing a quest, you go back and fill it up and do it all over again. I think the only bad part about this is you're basically getting an even amount of points across everything you do, and the rewards do not cost an even amount of points. So, you know, if you have the herbs to do, just spam out a bunch of points in a row, then this is a great way to do it, I think. And I've just figured out the animation on this is when the bubbles come up, you can then go. So I don't need the plug-in for this. If it's not going to come up, then screw it. I'll play the game, I suppose. I don't know if I'm supposed to be paying attention to the, uh... Or if I'm supposed to be paying as much attention to the XP drops. Because that threw me off a little bit. A lot of those were lower. Am I supposed to be stopping and making more potions when those lower numbers come up? I don't know. <laughs> New content. Woo! Maybe I should just pay attention to when those lower numbers come up and, I guess, make potions when the inventory gets kinda low. I was hoping it'd be more brain off and I could just spam click the whole inventory, but fine, whatever. I'm gonna reset the XP per hour now, now that we kinda know what's going on. Let's see how well we can get this going. Okay, this is pretty satisfying, but I am getting to the point where I need more, more of one kind of point than the other, so... I'm just gonna... I'm gonna get rid of these. There we go. And uh, go back to doing it normally now, for the last few thousand points I need. Although it's still a lot faster just to do... just to keep doing this. So maybe I just keep doing this. It's technically less XP per herb, but the minigame is already more XP per herb than herb lore, so... I think I'll just... I think I'll just keep doing this. It's pretty fast, it's pretty satisfying. It's a little annoying and RNG, because sometimes you just don't get the uh, things you need on the order sheet, so you waste a bunch of potions in a row, but it's pretty good, actually. At the very least, it's pretty fast. And... Okay, now I'm done with the uh, full inventories of potions. Let's just put these away. We have what we need for everything except the Mox Resin Points. And those are the slowest with this method. So I'm going to get on the plugin and tell it to favor the mocks and play the game normally for just a little bit to finish this off. Oh, that was the last one I needed. Hell yeah. Okay, I will definitely come back here at some point because one, it's very chill and the rewards are very good. But I need some more herbs before I can do that. For now, though... Potion storage. I have everything I need. Unlocks the ability to store potions within a separate area of the bank. If you haven't seen this, it is insane. There goes all my points. Uh, let's have a look in here. Uh, so how does this work? We've got a big potion button here. Oh, this is crazy. So what, do I drag things in there? No. Huh? What am I missing here? Do I have to do this? Oh, you have to do it like that? That's so stupid. Jagex, why are you so stupid? <laughs> okay, well, I guess I gotta swap these all over. Great, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> why would it be that way? Why would it be that way, Jagex? It's in the bank. Ugh. Oh man, this is clearing up so much bank space. It's crazy. I'm very glad I did this. I'm pretty sure I could put unfinished potions in there too, but that seems like it would just be more annoying than anything because you'd have to come in here and get the unfinished and go to a tab to get the secondary, so that seems odd. I won't be doing that. But that freed up a ton of bank space, which is so nice. That entire tab was way too many spots. Um, I'm keeping the staminas, the super energies, because those are good for skilling, and usually you just want to like withdraw a dose for, you know, while you're like in another tab doing other stuff. Like here, so those can stay there for now, but that is a huge amount of space uh, cleared up. And the nice thing we can do is put the important ones up at the top. Super combats, bruise and restores, we'll get the ranging potion in there. There you go, there's your PVM starter kits. So you just come in and uh, we can just set these to withdraw. Oh wait, that's cool. And then I can shift click, and then ah, uh, uh, I'm understanding, I'm understanding how it works. Okay, so as long as you have shift, shift click on withdraw one, 
any potions you have in here, you can go and eat these. And boom, you're set for PVM or whatever. That's kind of cool. It's going to take me a second to get used to, but it's pretty cool, I think. It'd be nice if you could rearrange them, though. Whatever, that's very cool. So much space cleared up. I'm so happy about that. Herb tab's still looking real healthy after that. Uh, I'm going to come back and do more when the seeds have been burned through a little bit more. I'm probably going to grow some toad flax. Uh, I don't really know what the strat is for a few of the things, but I should probably grow some toad flax for the lie and stuff, so... For now, I'm very happy with that little potion storage we got. What's next on the list? I hadn't thought about that yet. I'm still in a skilling mood. I think I'm gonna do some hunter rumors. That'd be kind of cool. I did a very tiny amount of them on my UIM just for the Quetzal feed, but... I enjoyed them, and it would be very cool. I really enjoy- I really love the pet, the Quetzin guy, he's so cute. The rewards from doing the Hunter Rumors are pretty good on their own. There's an outfit. I think it'd be kind of fun. I might do some Hunter Rumors. At least until I figure out something else I want to do. Oh, I should go to- I haven't ever done these. I should do these. I want collection log slots now. What am I doing? Hey, 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 random collection lag. Just 368 mil XP that took? Not bad at all. Now, now Jagex, come on. If you have the potion storage open in the bank, you can't deposit from a deposit box? That is... That is some programming for sure. Alright, we're gonna start these hunter rumors off right. Uh, if you don't know, they're they're kind of similar to Slayer and they... they and that you can set up a block list. It's kind of a weird way to do it, but you have to talk to... Or, like, you get tasks from different tiers, and when you have a task, it blocks it from the other levels, and then it's kind of annoying, but it makes Hunter Rivers a lot better. So we're going to do that. We're going to start with the baby guy, if we can find them anywhere. Hello? Of course, the very first thing I get is something I've never, ever done before. It's kind of fun, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get these uh, early ones out of the way quickly. Okay, I lied. I've definitely done these guys before, but the picture up here looked nothing like them. Oh, wow, I got that straight away. Oh, I see the picture is its ear. I understand. I'm going to open the four basic things. Anything good? We got a Quetzal feed, at least, which is very good. We got two more Quetzal feed. Hell yeah. I was about to complain about getting more Spined Larupias, and then it happened on the first t uh, kill? Trap? Whatever you want to call it. Oh, finally, there's another block. Goodbye, Red Chins. Hell yeah. Okay, that is three of my block slots finished. Now we are on to Tico? Oh, and the only thing I can block with this guy is Sabertooth Kiat, so this is going to take a little bit. Literally the first one, never mind. Hell yes, that is almost finished. Now I just gotta do the Wolf Master for the Sunlight Antelopes. Where are you, Wolf? Gotta open these uh, 18 Adept Loot Sacks. Maybe I got something interesting. Ooh, Hunter Headgear already. Hell yes. Okay. One piece of the Hunter outfit is very good from the... Uh, Small amount of sacks I've done so far. The loot's also pretty good from these. A lot of bird's nests. Wow. On my second one, I got the sunlight antelope. And that is a block that I can happily leave behind. And now we just do the contracts normally with Akko. Akko, where are you? You? You. Now I just do rumors with this guy in my block list setup. Hell yes. I got my first... Teku Salamander task, which means it's my first time over here since actually getting any of the Quetzal feeds. So I'm going to build this landing site and give my future self a much easier way to get over here to these young trees. And there's my big borb. Heck yeah. I've got 10 expert bags. We get anything cool in these? Oh, we do. We got the Huntsman's kit. Hell yes. That means I can put stuff in there. That freed up so much space. And I still got eight more. Oh, good content. Oh, 
no secondary collection logs, but that is very good to have. That is basically the tackle box that I just put away that I've been carrying around for a while, but now I got the Huntsman's Kit. I can take out the, uh, what are they called? The net traps? I can take out the net trap supplies whenever I need them. That is a good thing to get early. And again, the stuff from these sacks is pretty good. A lot of nests, good food for the future, and some bad stuff too, but you don't need to worry about those. This salamander claw right here, boom. That is 50 rumors done. We got 17 more uh, sacks here. Anything good? I'm gonna need some blueprints or an outfit piece. Come on. Nah, okay. No outfit pieces. Still a bunch of good stuff. Like 39 nests just from that. These pouches are great. Yeah, 10 more sacks. Give me something good. Let's just go fast. Nothing. Ten more. Never lucky. Ten more. Oh, still never lucky. Doing well on these uh, sunlight and moonlight antelope meats. Those are going to be very useful. Woo! Fake levels. Boom. That's another 24, 100 rumors. They're kind of chill. Uh, the amount of salamanders is kind of annoying, but overall, pretty chill. Kind of fun hunter method. I might be done for a little while, though. Ooh, got some blueprints. Hell yeah. I guess that was like a uh, dry prevention mechanic or something, because it's torn. I don't know. What else we got? Oh, we got an actual blueprint. Oh, and a guild hunter top. Beautiful. Those hundred rumors got me exact, well, three extra, but almost exactly what I needed to build all of the uh, Quetzal landing sites. Gonna need to grab some more soft clay, but all of these should be able to be popped up, and I will have a much easier time getting around the, uh, I'll have a much easier time getting around Varlamore, which is nice because it's kind of like a current. It's huge until you unlock everything, so I'm glad to be doing this. I've just got to do a little running around at the moment, which is kind of annoying. There we go, that's the last one. We got the upgraded whistle and all of these unlocked. Makes it a lot easier to get around in this pretty big continent. Now, what do I do next? I'm gonna do some Huey Quattl. No particular reason, I'm gonna do it in mass. I'm gonna find a world where a bunch of people are doing it. I think the pet is cute as hell, and it's easy to do, so why not? Hell yeah, there's one KC. This is easy in mass. The loot here is nothing to write home about, but it's kind of an interesting fight. And the KCs are very quick. I'm on 330 right now, a lot of people do on this, so... Don't know what the boss, uh, the pet drop rate is, but we're here. We're killing the big weird dragon, and I want the little weird chicken pet, so I'm enjoying it. Also, yeah, I'm assuming the pet's probably stupid rare. I'm probably not going to do too many of this, but I didn't know what else to do right now. So I figured why not do a little weird mass boss that has a chance at a cute pet. Why not? Woo! Soiled pages. Cool. And some sunflower splinters. Good collection log slots, I guess. And that was 10kc. Beautiful. Whoa, two dragon bones. That's crazy. Ooh, hell yeah, that is the new herb seed that makes, like, goading potions. It's one of the reasons I wanted to do this. I'm getting close to 50kc and already feeling like I want to stop, but I'm glad to have gotten that at least. Yeah, I think this, this boss is a little too brain off for what I was looking for. Especially with the loot being what it is, it's not amazing, but that right there was 50kc. And, uh, one single torso seed. Pretty good, but... Overall, not amazing. I think that's going to be enough of that for now. Once the pet drop rates release in the future, I might be a little bit more likely to come back, because that's the only thing I want from these guys, other than collection log slots, I guess, but that pet is so cute. This is just a little bit too boring, so I want to know drop rates, I want to know if solo is worth it. That's for the future. I can do a few chambers. Oh, I was really trying to do TOA, but... I did some 300 practice, and I got incredibly demotivated, because TOA, TOA sucks. So I'm doing cocks. I'll do a few, we'll see how many we can get. It'd be real nice to get some prayer scrolls. But I really enjoy Chambers, despite having gone 400 Rage Dry in the past. It is fun content. 
And I have some upgrades now, so it should be fun. Yo! A 4k C purple? Let's fucking go. And it's new, it's not a mall. What have we got? Ancestral Roblox? Hell yes! Oh, that's so good! We get rid of the Dagon High Rope Bottoms. Got some Ancestral Roblox. Huge for the bank value, also. Kinda sad to see the Dagon High go, but we'll take some Ancestral. I am terrifying. Chamber's Log is coming along pretty nicely. Um... It's strange to have the mall and ancestral pants before a teleport tablet or the scrolls, but whatever. I don't even have a torn prayer scroll yet. So, we're doing pretty well, I think. Aw, oh, no back to back. That's so sad. You know, 6kc, two purples, and the teleport tablet. I honestly can't complain. I'll do some more in the future, but uh, I keep trying to go back to PVM. When I think I really am in the mood to skill, so I'm gonna get some some XP, some bank progress, some everything. Yo, I passed 370 mil XP at the Master Farmers. Definitely skilling. I think I'm gonna head back to Varlamore. The Hunter rumors are super satisfying. I'm gonna keep doing some of those, and I'm getting a decent amount of herbs already. So the uh, a few more collection logs on the Mastering Mixology might be coming up, but for now, let's do some more Hunter. 20 sacks. Oh, hell yeah, Hunter Pants and another perfected Quetzal blueprint. Are they tradable? They are cheap. They go on the floor. And these rumors are so easy to just grind out. Since it's like, it's not a number like it is with Slayer, it's just a random item drop. Sometimes a task takes one single hunt, <laughs> you know? Oh, they go very fast. The XP is pretty decent. I'm getting 171k XP per hour right now. Just kind of chilling, getting some very good rewards. That is 150 total rumors. Got 30 loot sacks. See if we got anything. Pet maybe? Oh, I got the pet actually. I actually got the pet. Hell yeah. Quentin, my guy, let's go. Oh, beautiful. That's my first skilling pet. I still got 21 to go as well. I could get so much more stuff. I actually just got a dupe as well. You have a funny feeling like you would have been followed. You've been given a free pet reclaim. Oh my god. That's insane. <laughs> and the boots on the very last one? What an amazing 30 loot sacks. Hell yes. Look how cute this little burp is. I love that. Okay, so what do I have left from rumors? Oh, nothing! I have greenlogged the Hunter Guild. I've got two, two little Quentin birds, the full outfit, and the Hunter's kit, and 150 rumors. That feels like kind of a spoon. I know each each one of the outfit pieces and stuff is 1 in 150, and these guys are 1 in 1k, so almost a bummer. The, the loot from the sacks is pretty good. That 150. Or oh, actually, that 124 of just the expert ones got me 284 nests, a bunch of the good meat. Is it worth doing more? I do kind of enjoy it, but I really just wanted the pet and I just got two of them, so now what? <laughs> I'm suffering from success. You know, Quetzin is one of those uh, hunter pets. I don't know if hunter pets really count as skilling pets. They're just in their own category as hunter pets and also... It came out of a uh, out of a loot bag, so maybe not quite a skilling pet, but I'm very glad to have this this little cute little guy. Okay, I guess we hang out at the Mist Guild for a little while, cook all the food that we've gotten so far. Got a bunch of the uh, Varlamore meats, but also a lot of fish that I fished up in the background, so we'll see where we're at, we'll see how much XP we got, and we'll see what happens next. Yo, 15 mil cooking XP, thanks to the minnows, the raw sharks. It's going well. Woo! The food tab is looking a lot healthier now. I could still do with some more anglerfish and karamb ones, but we're set for a little while, I think. 
I feel like bank standing, so I'm farming my bank for a little bit of XP right now. No particular reason, but it'd be nice to uh, jump up a few ranks in the Iron High scores. If uh, I spent too long being a baby Max, <laughs> it's time to get some more XP, I think. Not that I'm gonna start doing 3 tick granite or anything like that, but might as well harvest the XP in the bank. Got a few more farm runs to do, and then I'm gonna be going back to Mastering Mixology, so I'll get even, even more XP and ranks there. I am mastering mixology again. Woo! So, I was going to get the uh, prescription goggles from this guy as my next uh, reward. Just because it saves the secondaries when you're doing herb lore, which is incredibly nice. None of the outfit is has any use. The reagent pouch, I'm still not quite sure what the point of it is. It doesn't seem like it saves much time, but whatever. Um, Chugging Barrel, meh. The Aldarium, for the goading potions, I thought used the Huasca seeds, but that's just for the prayer re regeneration potions, which I'm not really that interested in. So the goading potions just use Herolander and Aldarium, so I'm gonna buy a bunch of it while I have a bunch of points. Like, I don't really have a reason to have it right now, but I've got 42 of them, so there we go. I did it awkwardly, but heck yeah, we got the goading potions, got them in the potion storage. And the next time we go to do Slayer, the barrage tasks and stuff like that should be a lot more chill. And that got us up to almost 100 doses of it, so that's 600 minutes of goading. Not bad at all for that chunk of points, I think. So these potions, if you haven't seen yet, basically make every monster in a 9x9 nine nine square around you aggressive. I uh, picked a very busy place to test it out, but I want to test it out. Okay, these guys are definitely in a 9x9. Nine nine. If I click the potion... Look at that. They just all aggro. Hell yeah. Also, I don't know if this is new since the last time I was here, or if I just didn't see anyone talking about doing it this way, but as long as none of the orders... Well, okay. You can do every single order that comes up on your list before turning any of them in, and it is more XP and more points per hour, which is really nice. As long as you don't do the triple letter ones. I'm still in the habit of going to the thingy, of course, so I'm going to keep cooking that. But I'll show you on the next set of orders how to actually do it. Okay, we turn these on. We got all the points. It's very satisfying. 30, 50, and 10. Pretty good. See, okay, so we've got an AA. We don't do that. We do a, a M. Pick it up. Then you do M, L, L. Pick it up. And since they're in your inventory in the order you made them, these will be in the same order, so you can just do the highlighted stations. Go to the next one. Boom. Turn it in. This was giving me almost the same XP per hour as, as when I was uh, doing the full inventories of every single potion the last time I was here, and I think it's more XP per herb because you're not hoping that you get lucky. You know, you when you're turning in the spam full inventory, it's like... Keeping an eye on the XP drops, making sure you've got the right amount of potions in your, in your inventory. Once a couple of rows have run out, it's a waste of time and you're losing XP and blah blah blah. But doing it this way, you just get all the good potions in your inventory, you turn them in. It's too easy. Although I left this one. The uh, order of operations is a little bit different, so it's taking me a second to get used to. But I think last night I was doing it, I was getting like 85k XP per hour, even with messing up in very similar ways that I am now. So kind of nice doing it like this. Look at this. Three full potions. Boom. Very satisfying. Should be pretty good points. Should be able to get these glasses pretty quick. Maybe stay a little bit longer for some more goading potions for the future, but we're chilling. It seems like even prioritizing the uh, Mox paste, I get so many more Aga points than anything else. It's kind of annoying. Double mix a lot with a digweed on the floor is a big day here. Ooh, 180 points for that. Pretty good. I've been doing the uh, just do everything method for a little while now, and I'm getting 85, almost 86k XP per hour. It's kind of cool. This is a good mini game, I think. I'm pretty sure they're going to rebalance stuff again, but I'm enjoying it. Oh, the triple mix a lot. That is beautiful. Ooh, that was over 200, that was 210. Oh, heck yeah. 
Oh, it looks like we already passed it. We have the points we need. I'm gonna keep going for a little bit until I can put these in the uh, hopper, but we're almost done. There we go, inventory is clear, so we have a few things in there for next time, but all we need now is the prescription goggles. Hell yeah, there's a collection log. I think they look so funny. But they'll save me 10% of uh, Harbler secondaries as long as I've got them on, which is very huge. The rest of the stuff here, like I said earlier, reagent pouch, chugging barrel, not that into it. Alchemist amulet is pretty cheap, so I might do that in the future, but for now, I'm pretty happy with that. And for now, that's where I'm gonna leave you. You should like, comment, and subscribe, but uh, if you want to support me even more than the normal YouTube algorithm stuff, you can click join down there, get in on the members-only Discord, get episodes a little bit early, just like these wonderful people have. My overkill doer, Hezzy, thank you so much. Thank you for sticking around. My Gwemlin Supremes, Vintage Tops, Scrooge McDuck, Matty O, and Stark, you are all wonderful. Thank you so much. And so are my Gwemlins and my supporters. Anyone who clicks join, it means so much. It is so helpful. I love you. Thank you so much. Bye. I'll see you next time. Bye.